Hello and welcome to the OC Varsity Softball Dugout Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, being joined by Carlos Arias. We're sitting down, and these girls are coming up from behind us right now. Setting, yeah, they're, they're, they're setting up the nets. Uh, they're excited, man. Uh, they're, they're in the playoffs tomorrow, Carlos. Division One. Whoa, what is going on? And boys and girls, uh, girls softball, we got some uh, what, Esperanza and Modern Day knocked off. So Marina now heading into tomorrow's game. What do you got to say about this crazy Division One? how it's shaping out? Yeah, you know, when I when I was initially talking to you about the Division One playoffs, I was calling it World War Z because it's just going to be mayhem. It's going to be apocalyptic. People are getting whacked. And, of course, in the first round, we lose the top two seeds, yeah. you know, Modern Day and, and uh, Esperanza. Um, it just shows you how deep this division is. It's it's a fantastic division. What do we got going on this week in D1? Okay, in D1, we're at Marina right now, and, and they play a very tough team called Etiwanda. And Etiwanda has UCLA-bound uh, Delaney, Delaney Spaulding, who's got 10 home runs. She's an awesome player. Um, they have a team loaded with hitters. Um, but Marina has some of the best pitching in in the entire nation with Terra Blanco starting. And their hitters have been, they've been coming around. So you put together the, the best pitching and improved hitting, and you can see why Marina's in a good good spot. Yeah, and speaking of Terra Blanco and those Vikings, we caught up with Marina earlier. I'm actually really pumped because I know our team's rolling pretty good, and second round's going to be really good because they got us last year, but I know we're going to come out pretty hot tomorrow. We worked really hard for that league title. I mean, there were there were a lot of tough games and we all we all chipped in like everyone was working hard during practice and everything and then I think that just building up to CIF it's just going to be great. I think we have a really good chance. Uh, we've been hitting really really good. We've been hitting a lot live and practicing just for this upcoming game and trying to take it. This is the, the best time of the year. It's like March Madness for baseball, for um, basketball fans. This is just our time of the year and watching over the weekend and all the college kids and, and it's just exciting. It's exciting for the girls to go out and see what they have at the end of the day. Our thanks to the Vikings and a special guest coming out here today, Carlos, one of the all-time greats. Yeah, uh, take a look behind us. That's Amanda Freed pitching batting practice for Marina. I mean, one of the all-time great players I ever had the... Uh, the pleasure to cover. Um, she not only was dominant, won a national title at Pacifica, goes to UCLA, wins national title. She's on the national team. I mean, she's fantastic. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to step up into that batter's box anytime soon. What about you? No, no need to embarrass ourselves. We already do that enough. Yeah, exactly. Hey, we're sitting down here for once, too. That's that's nice as well. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll take it home with me. Um, more Division One, Carlos. We talked about Marina. Who else you got? Yeah, um, keep an eye on Rosary at Edison. Rosary is the one that just knocked off Esperanza, the top okay. seed. Um, that's going to be a great game. You got Orange Lutheran at MLK. MLK has uh, Alabama bound pitcher Alexis Osorio. I saw her last week. She's fantastic. Okay. Um, you got your Belinda at Canyon. That's uh, PVS, Paige Von Sprecken going up against the Comanches. I love that matchup. Yeah. And Foothill, which just knocked off uh, the number two seed, Modern Day, they're going to be hosting West Ranch. So we got some big time matchups. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. We got a great uh, schedule of games coming up now. Division two, I saw Mission Viejo last week. Palomino breaking the record. It was so awesome. Carlos, her friends and family were there, a lot from Garden Grove. They came all, all the way out there to see her. And it was just, it was just a fantastic sight to see. Um, quickly, your thoughts on Palomino and the rest of Division Two? Yeah, um, well, my spidey sense was tingling too. I was like, "We got to get out there. I, yeah. We need to get some video because she's going to break that record." And she did, of course. Yeah, no, because I was there. You know. <laughs> no, she doesn't disappoint. Yeah. Now she has the Orange County record with 18 home runs. It's not, you know, a stretch of the imagination that she could still break the CIF record, which is 21 home runs by Sierra Romero from Vista Murrieta. She set that record last year, so. Don't don't say that that record's safe yet. Finally, Carlos, what else do we got to talk about? Any other divisions we need to know about? Yeah, in Division Four, I'm really liking these Golden West League teams: Seagerstrom, Loera, and Ocean View. They're all just dominating right now. Um, I'm expecting to see one or two Golden West League teams in the finals. So keep an eye out for for uh, you know the Golden West League teams in Division Four. And OC Varsity softball fans will keep an eye out on you with your uh, mobile rent -a, rent a table. You setting up behind uh, the batter stop? Yeah, I'll be uh, you know I'll be taking the live blog all over you know the playoffs this year so keep an eye out for some live blogs he's very mobile and he takes tips all right thanks to carlos arias i'm jonathan camus we'll be out all week covering softball for all your latest softball information check out ocvarsity.com thanks for watching